Machine Gunners Part 2. In Part 1, we talked about the M249 saw. Today, we're talking about the M240. If you served in the mid-1900s and you don't know what the M240 is, it is what replaced the M60, aka the pig. And while it may not have the nickname the pig, it's actually heavier, weighing in at 27 pounds. It has a cyclic firing rate of 650 rounds per minute, with a maximum range of approximately 3,700 meters and an effective range of up to 1,600 meters. I have absolutely no idea how far that is, so let's figure it out. All right, so we're looking at like 4,000-ish yards, so we're talking like 40 foot football fields. And we're talking real football, the kind you play with your hands. And don't try to tell me soccer's better. You were given opposable thumbs for a reason. F and act like it. Sorry, in order to make money on these videos, I'm not allowed to say fuck. <sighs> Shit. Eh, we'll try harder next week. Anyways, back to the 240. The 240's highly versatile. It can be attached to almost any military vehicle available, including boats and helicopters. But today we're talking about the psychopaths, I mean grunts that just carry this thing around. You see, the big difference between the saw and the 240 is that the saw shoots a 5.56 and the 240 shoots a 7.62. A bigger bullet means a bigger hole and a bigger hole means less bad guy. That's just science. But being able to shoot the big freedom acorns comes at a cost, mainly weight. That's why unlike the saw gunner, the 240 gunner has what is known as an AG, an assistant gunner. The assistant gunner helps share the load by carrying some of the bullets as well as the tripod and the spare barrels. Yes, I said spare barrels. They will literally throw so much lead at you that they will overheat the barrels to the point that they will warp and fold over. So they will rotate the barrels out during the middle of a firefight and sometimes use them to light their cigarettes. Now, while the AG is also a qualified machine gunner, he helps during the firefight by assisting with reloading and spotting for the machine gunner. Yeah, spotting. You notice that this picture looks an awful lot like this picture of snipers, aka Bill Nye the Science Grunt. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to tell you the 240 gunners are just volume snipers. But unlike a sniper who's just going to put one round center mass, this guy's going to put a lot of rounds to the everywhere. It's like a sniper from Costco. You're going to get ventilated in bulk. You're going to be aerodynamic as fuck. You're going to be holier than the Pope. Your death certificate's going to say bullet bukake. I might have found the line on that one. You can't be offended by that unless you know what it means, and if you know what it means, you're just as corrupt as I am. Moving on. There's absolutely no denying that being a machine gunner sucks 99% of the time. That's why the machine gunner is always in a bad mood. This man is literally fueled by nicotine, caffeine, and hate. But when that firefight finally comes around, this guy's Beetlejuice and it's fucking showtime. That is unless you somehow put him in a bad mood in the firefight, which we all know there's only one way to do that, and it's by shooting at Doc. And if that happens, you're absolutely done. There's nothing you can hide behind on the planet. Whatever you're hiding behind, there is a certain amount of 762 rounds that will penetrate it eventually. This guy's gonna turn into the Tootsie Pop owl and find out how many licks it takes. In conclusion, never give a 240 gunner a reason to do his job or he's gonna find out how many 762 rounds it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll center of you. If you enjoy my content and would like to support it, you can head over to thefatelectrician.com where you can buy yourself a shirt or some stickers. So until next time, quack bang out.